You can now watch this video in the language of your choice. Just hit the settings icon, head to Audio Tracks, and select the one that's right for you, your stream, your language, your vibe. Enjoy the video. Welcome back to Stream Smart by Gadgets Pod. In the last episode, we got hands on with ports and accessories of the Live View Solo Pro. In this episode, we'll go one step ahead. We'll create your Live View Solo account, register and power on your Solo Pro, and walk through its first time setup, including how to configure your internet interfaces. Let's get your unit ready to stream. To begin using your Live View Solo Pro, you'll first need to create a Live View Solo account. Open any browser and visit solo.liveview.tv. On the landing page, click on New User to start the sign up process. Now, enter your name, email ID, and set a secure password. Pro tip use a valid business email address. Your Live View Solo Portal account is linked to your licenses and support. Using a professional email helps keep access organized and ensures you don't miss important updates. Tick the checkboxes for I'm not a robot and agree to the terms and conditions. Then hit Submit. You'll receive a verification email. Open it and click the confirmation link to activate your Live View Solo account. After verifying your email, your Live View Solo account is successfully created and activated. Mistakes to avoid. Don't forget to verify your email after creating your Solo Portal account. You won't be able to register your device without verification. Once your account is ready and you're one step closer to going live, now log into your newly created Live View account. Let's link our Live View Solo Pro unit to our Live View Solo Portal account. To add a new Solo unit to your account, start by clicking the Click Here option displayed on your Portal dashboard. You'll be asked to enter the serial number, which can be found on the sticker beneath the Solo Pro or on the box. Along with the serial number, you will also need to provide your contact information. You can also enter a referral code if you have one. More about referrals later in this video. After filling in all the required fields, click Submit to complete the registration. You'll now see your Live View Solo Pro unit listed under the registered devices in your account. From the top menu, select My Devices to navigate to your portal dashboard. Did you know? You can add multiple Solo units to your account. To manage more than one device, simply click Add Solo on your portal dashboard and repeat the registration process. From the Device Settings menu, you can rename the unit, remove it from your account, or check the current software version. To open Device Settings, click the gear icon located on the left side of your unit's thumbnail on the dashboard. Must Do Name your unit for easy identification and tracking, especially useful when managing multiple devices in fleet setups. To rename your Solo Pro unit, go to the Name field, delete the existing name, and enter a new one something unique to your fleet and easy to identify. By going to the user menu in the top right corner, you can update your profile details, change your password, or modify your email address. Click on the three horizontal lines next to the user icon to access options like your subscriptions, payment settings, streaming destination management, customer support, and account logout. Now it's time to power on your LiveU Solo Pro. Press and hold the power button until the device turns on. You'll first see the LiveView logo followed by the boot screen. Give it a moment to fully start up. Ensure that the LiveView Solo Pro is fully charged or use the DC power adapter if you're setting up indoors. When you power on the LiveView Solo Pro, the home screen appears, your central dashboard for streaming. At the top, you'll see the battery level and camera connection status, so you always know your setup is good to go. The bottom status bar tells you what the unit is doing. Offline means it's not yet connected to the network. Ready means it's online and prepped for streaming, and transmitting confirms you're live. Once streaming starts, the screen displays your resolution, battery status, transmission rate, and a real-time video preview, all in one place. With everything visible at a glance, you're in full control of your broadcast. Press the jog button once to enter the menu options. You'll see options like Interfaces and About. Rotate to highlight About, then press the Jog button again to open it. Here, 
you'll find all the technical details of your unit, including the device name, serial number, and MAC address, and more. Pro tip, use the About section on the device to quickly check your unit's software version, serial number, and MAC address useful for support requests. Press the Back button to return to the main screen. Need to know, your LiveU Solo Pro might say Offline on the screen. That's because it hasn't yet connected to any active internet source. Once Wi-Fi, LAN, or modem is connected, it will switch to Ready. Now, let's connect your Solo Pro to the internet, starting with Wi-Fi. From the device menu, navigate to Interfaces. The first option you'll see is Wi-Fi. Select it, then choose Show List, and press the Jog button again to go to Select Networks and begin scanning for available networks. After a few seconds, you'll see a list of nearby Wi-Fi networks. Scroll through and select the network you want to connect to. Use the on-screen keyboard to enter your Wi-Fi password, then scroll to and select Done to confirm. Once connected, the interface count will update from 0 to 1, showing that Wi-Fi is now active on your Solo Pro. When your Solo Pro connects successfully, its status on the main screen will switch from Offline to Ready. At the same time, the LiveView portal will update your unit's status from Offline to Online, confirming that it's successfully connected to the network. The unit's status panel on the portal will also indicate that the Wi-Fi connection is successfully established. You can view and manage your LiveU Solo Pro unit's network connections remotely by clicking on the Connections option in the portal. Here, you can configure settings for Ethernet, Wi-Fi, and view the status of connected USB dongles on your LiveU Solo Pro. To establish wired internet connection, plug one end of the patch cable into the unit's LAN port and the other into your router or network switch. When connection is established, the unit will automatically detect it, and you'll see Ethernet listed under the active interfaces. In the LiveU portal, the connection status will update showing two active connections, one for Wi-Fi and one for Ethernet. Pro tip, make sure DHCP is enabled in your Ethernet settings. This allows your LiveU Solo Pro to automatically receive an IP address and connect to the network without manual configuration. It's essential for a smooth and hassle-free setup, especially when using routers that assign dynamic IPs. You can connect USB modems directly to the LiveU Solo Pro in this setup. We are adding two modems for now. You can add up to four modems by using a Y cable. In the Solo Portal, the connection status updates instantly showing four active connections, two USB modems, Wi-Fi, and LAN. That's seamless bonding in action, more connections, more reliability. Once the unit is online and connected, a power icon will appear next to the settings icon. Click the power icon to reboot your unit remotely. This feature is especially helpful if the device becomes unresponsive or needs a fresh start. Click Yes to confirm the reboot. Do not power off the unit while it is updating or rebooting as it can cause system issues like corrupted software, failed startup, or the need for a factory reset. Refer and save. Join LiveU Referral Program and save on LiveU Solo Pro, Pro Connect or LRT subscription. Share a one-time referral code with a friend and get credit on your next invoice of Solo Connect or LRT. To get a referral code, click Refer a Friend and Save on the top right of your Solo Portal, generate your code, and send it out. Need a referral link? If you are registering a new Solo device, you can help someone else save by asking for a referral link before activating your device. It's a win-win. Join our WhatsApp group and drop a message. Someone from the community will gladly share a referral code with you. And that's it for Episode 3 of the Stream Smart series. We created your LiveU Solo account, registered the device, and got it powered on and internet ready. You're now just a step away from going live. In the next episode, we'll start by setting up your streaming hardware with the LiveU Solo Pro, activate your LRT subscription for stable bonded streaming, and guide you through linking destinations like YouTube, Facebook, or a custom RTMP for seamless streaming. Want an expert help? 
join our WhatsApp group here. It's free, helpful, and full of streaming pros like you. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe to Gadgets Pod, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss the next episode. Stay safe and stay connected. See you in the next one.